Okay, I'm back in Daydreams. I did get this off of Amazon. If you're not as much into people, but you would like one of Hannah's books, I would suggest the Daydreams book. And if you go back to my videos from last month, or just go to my channel and look up Hannah Carl's on Daydreams Coloring Book Review, um, it should pop up. So this is what we're going to work on tonight. It's night for me. It's it's morning for you. I am doing videos up ahead of time. So I am going to have a seat. I am going to show you how to take a flower from this to this plus more. Now the reason I say plus more is because a lot of times people are like, well, there's nothing wrong with this flower. And there's not. And you can color the flower solid like that if you want it. But I'm here to show you how to take it to another level. Okay? So, yeah, I'm going to sit down. There we go. I am using the Castle Art Pencils. It's the soft touch. It is not the golds, okay? These were the ones that were on sale during the Black Friday. I am using 21, which is Viridian Red, 24, which is Cadmium Red, and Magenta, which is number 86. Three, something that goes from like your orangey red to a deeper red okay you pick your colors now when I come in and do these flowers I just do an all over quick coat okay if you bake it's like crumb coating a cake before you put it in the refrigerator or freezer and let that set up before you put your good layer on just getting that layer on I don't come all the way down to all the little separation points because I want to be able to add the other colors. So now my lightest shade, I'm gonna to go to my middle shade and I'm gonna come in and add. Now, the reason I did this darker is because I'm pretending that this petal is on top. Now this petal may actually be on bottom because of the way that's curled around Hmm, now you got me really thinking on that. And I'm thinking, maybe that is. Maybe I should find my eraser and fix that real quick. So here's an eraser. Just shows you it's not finished till it's finished. So what I'm going to do is go back to my lighter shade. And I'm pretending that this is on top because it expands out. All right, now to my medium shade. So then my medium shade would go here. And that automatically push this petal up. Okay. So I'm getting in these V's. Do you remember how sometimes I have said it gets worse before it gets better? These flowers... Are one of those things. This is going to look probably tackier before it actually looks better. See this one's underneath so it's getting more of that second shade. This is underneath, this is underneath, and again I'm just getting color in there and doing what appears to be in the V's and in the back. Okay, so even though this petal is on top, there's still a fold right here. And then this comes down in. And there's a fold here. And this is just down in the shadows. So look and see where your V's are. Yeah, I've got a lot of erasing to do. I think part of it's because I'm coloring upside down, which... You know, is not a bad practice. It's really not. 
Okay, there's a V. And then this is all underneath. Okay, so is it looking worse? Yeah. Am I okay with that? Yeah, because I know it's going to get better. So I'm doing everything that's in the back. And then some of these V's. Again, this is our sloppy copy. Just getting the color on. Just making sure that we have some of that extra color in there. Trying to find out what's behind, what's in front, and going from there. All right, so I've got quite a bit of color on. Now I'm gonna go to that third shade, okay? Now this shade is almost a brown. <coughs> Excuse me, even though it says magenta, yeah. So this is gonna go down in my deeper Vs. Down anything that's more in the background is gonna get more of this. This is going to just push it to the back. See how this looks like it's got ripples in it and stuff now? Just push things to the back by using this. And see, that makes that dip down inside and this pucker up on top. Okay. Just get all those layers in. Here's one of our V's. Here's a V. Now one of these is in front and one's behind. I'm going to say this one is behind. All of this is behind. I was coloring on this one to push this one up. Looking worse? Yeah. That's okay. Wait till you see me come through and start blending with our lightest color. It's going to make all the difference in the world. That blending is. And then about the time you think I'm finished, I'm going to pull out two more pencils. Mm-hmm. It's going to be for those that are coloring that want to take it a step further. Do you have to? No. No. No coloring police. Okay, so, whoops, totally forgot about this over here. Let's go back to the middle shade, because this is way back here. I'm going to go ahead and do most all of that. Then my darkest. That can be a little darker. Okay, now I'm going to come in with my lightest, and I'm going to start blending. Okay. So, let me see where we are on the timer. Oh, good. Okay, so now I'm just going to start blending. Just blend, 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 blend everything. I still try to kind of go the same direction that that petal is flowing. And I'm not concerned about getting all of the white out of the paper yet. Because like I said, I have one more step that I'm going to add to this. But do you see how that's already starting to blend up? Just blend away. And if you're coloring along, you may want to watch to the end and then go back and watch it again and color along and push pause when you need to, whatever works for you. And if you're just watching saying, who is this crazy lady? What is she doing? You know what? Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my life, the zoo. I don't know. I have fun. Life is short. We need to have fun. And if I do one little thing on a video that helps you feel better about what you're doing,
then good. I'm glad. It's all worth it. Now, I've got that right. Let me show you a step further. I'm going to come in with cadmium yellow. This is number 75 because I now have this flower to the point of this flower down here. Right? We're going to take it to this level. Can you see a difference? Look at this. And then look at this. All right, here we go. Because it's very easy to get it to the next level. That is not totally well blended yet. That is okay. I picked a yellow that is not a in-your-face bright, bright yellow, but has more of a yellowy orange to it. And I'm doing the areas that are basically in the middle of each petal, getting lighter as I come out. Yeah, I don't usually blend with a lighter color, do I? Just, it's just like the ends have been sun-kissed. Okay, now, can you already see the difference in these two? This one has the yellow running through the center. This one does not. Okay, next step. I want to tuck some of those petals back under there. So I actually grabbed number 68, Burnt Umber. I almost used purple, almost. And then I thought, no, I'm going to go ahead and use a brown because orange is in brown. Now, do you see how that just tucked that back under? Watch this. The V. And then the little bits around. It just popped this petal up. Let's do this one. Next, start with it sparingly. Don't go real dark. You can always add more. If you add too much too quick, you're going to end up having to erase and then go back through all your colors. Okay, down here. And then coming up, I can do right here. I can do this V. I can do part of this V behind here in this V. Here's a V. Here's one. Back behind here. Do you see the difference in this and this? Okay, just that bit. Let's go some more. Let's come down here and get all these bottom bits. Okay, here's a V. Here's a V. Up here coming down. Here coming down. What about around here? Here's a V. Look for those V's. Look for those areas that are naturally tucked under or folded. That 
and this is also taking those shades just a little further. See how that looks like it's puck puckered up now right through there? It's just slight, slight shading. Just shading right behind where those lines are and not doing a whole lot. Like I said, you can add more. See, by doing that, I just made that one pop up some too. Send that to the back. Working on over. Here's a V. How about we send this one to the back? Means we need to make it darker here. Here's a little V. Okay, we're gonna send this petal to the back. Just gonna come in here and go up that line. All right, now look at it and see. Do you have it a little darker on one side than the other? What can you come in and still tinker with? I know I need to go back to my original lightest shade and do a little bit right in here, just because that's not totally colored. Now, we're gonna look again. What is the difference between this and this one down here? So here we go. Do you see a difference? So that's how you can leave it, or you can start playing with it and take it there. Watch this, just by doing a couple of things, I'm going to yellow up this. Okay, just yellowed that up a little. And then I'm gonna yellow this up and then a little bit through the middle. Now, if I want this to look like it's really ruffled up and raised, this is where I'm gonna come in with that brown, okay, with my burnt umber, go under the edge. See how that shadow was just cast on there? And now that ripple looks like it's actually raised up. Let's do this one. And I'm gonna do a little bit in there and it causes this little piece to raise up. Okay, so, yeah, why not? Go for it, we've got time. So I'm gonna yellow up these big sections, the sections that I know are on top, and you can tell I'm not being overly careful. I'm yellowing up, going over all of it, because this is my chance to blend one more time. One thing I will tell you that I was surprised on this page, almost all the leaves are done the same, even though they're connected to different flowers. So um, yeah, I was a little surprised by that. So I am going to go ahead and probably do all the leaves in just the same colors over and over. Whoops, I forgot this up here. But then the flowers, there's several different flowers on this page and I've yet to figure out exactly what colors I'm doing all of them but that's okay all right so now then my V's here's a V here there's one there's one here here but then I really want that popped so I came back in and added just a little bit more See, you can keep adding this brown. 
I just want you to start sparingly so that you don't get too much all at once. Okay, and then it's on top of this one. So I'm going to go around here and get some. And then we know it all goes back down in there. And then here, this is underneath. And this comes underneath so that that piece pops up. And then I'll put some here, which allows this to pop up. Put some here, which allows this to pop up. Okay, let's come over here. There's a lot of lines coming up through here. You're going to have to decide what you want on top and what you want on bottom and go from there. You may see something totally different than the way I see it. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. A little bit here, which pushes this one up and sinks this one back a little. I want that ripple there. This one is actually on top of this one, so my dark should be on this side. My dark is underneath. And I can put a little here. Then I am going to come back in with my lightest orange shade and go ahead and get things done that still have a bit of white showing through. Where I didn't get all the way to the edges. But I think you can see now how we actually took that a step further by adding the brown and the yellow. You can especially see it in this bud. I really played the darks up on that one. Okay, let's look all the way across. There we go. So what I meant by the different flowers is these are one view. I wonder if that's the same flower, but a different view, and that's why you can see all the little um, stamen in the middle. Then that would be the same flower, that would be the same. These would actually be different, this would be different. This could be the same, it could be the orange. So what I may do is just do like three different colors for the flowers. Yeah, I haven't decided yet. When you get a book like this, it has a nice spine on it. You really don't want to break that spine open. So when it comes to coloring in the crease, hold your book up some. And then as you're coloring, take your pencil and go down in. Okay? That's going to be the best way to get down in those bits. Because some of these pages do, if it's a two-fold like this, it does go all the way in. Now, some of these pages, like this one, it did not go all the way in. So, this one doesn't go all the way in. So, you're not going to have that on, like, every page. See, that one doesn't go all the way. So, anyway, that's it. That's how deepening and lightening will give you all those layers and make your ruffles really stand up and push the flower back. So I hope this helped somebody. Um, thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, follow, etc., etc. All right, thanks for stopping by. Have a good one, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.